everyone, it's Marguerite. I'm gonna be doing a green glitter eye for you. So let's zoom in. First, I have these shadow shields, so I don't have to use the nasty toilet paper that I always use. And even though I don't have makeup on my face, still, like I have a bunch of moisturizer on, that's getting so dry. I don't want a lot of this glitter to fall all over me, so there's some tape you take off. It's supposed to protect your face from shadow falling. Now, priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I coat that all over, I go up to my brow bone. Then I'm going to go in with an extra step. I'm going to apply the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. This is a cream eyeshadow that will really just help enhance your eyeshadows and help them to stick and prevent creasing. It's just like an added step. If you ever have a problem with eyeshadows showing up, try a cream eyeshadow and it will really help them appear better. Now I'm going to go in with the Master Palette by Mario. Let me zoom in even. First I'm going to apply the color Hollywood all over my eyelid just to set the cream eyeshadow. Now I'm taking a, this is a Morphe E22 brush, dome shaped. And first I'm gonna go in with this brown color called Lula. Apply it in my crease. So I'm going in circular and backward circular motions. And I'm doing a half moon shape, so I'm bringing it into my inner eye. I'm creating that half moon halo eye. Then I'm gonna go in with my dear friend, Kim, which is a lighter brown color, and just go over that. And I'm going to be building up a lot of colors just to make it more customized and give it a more smoky ombre effect. And I'm not being shy with this. I'm just, I'm blending it upwards. I'm not being too precise with it. Then I'm going in with Isabel, which is a more terracotta, brown, orangish brown color. I'm blending that into the crease. And then lastly taking Violetta. You can see all that fallout. Then I'm going in with Isabel again, just to kind of lighten that up. Now I'm taking a brush that doesn't have any shadow. This is the Sephora Pro Crease number 10 brush. And I'm just gonna really blend everything up. I'm taking this Sephora eye makeup remover and if you have a cotton ball, that's good, but I'm just going in with a tissue. And I'm cleaning up my inner eye. Definitely don't want it darker in there. It'll just make you look like you have a black eye. Now, before I move on to glitter, I'm gonna apply this Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop in the color Honey Bunny into my inner eye. And you're gonna apply it to your brow bone. So, now that the eyelid is blank, I mean, it probably has some shadow on it, but the center eye for the most part is blank. First I'm going to apply this Urban Decay eyeshadow in the color Zodiac. It's a really pretty dark forest green. I'm just going to use a flat brush to do so. This is BH Cosmetics 103 brush. Now go over everything. So what I'm most excited about is this new glitter I got from Lit Cosmetics. I got their clear, Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and then this glitter in the color Caviar Dreams. Beautiful green. So I'm going to dump some into the lid. Dump some in the lid. And then it came with this brush. I'm going to dip it into this glitter base. I'm just dipping it directly in. And then I'm dipping my brush into the glitter and then I'm going to press it onto my lid. I'm not going above the crease because you don't want that to settle in your crease. So 
so I did about 10 coats just to build it up and make sure it's even. And now I'm going to apply some lashes. I'm using these Coco Lashes color Misha. And then I'm using my House of Lashes eyelash adhesive to apply it. I'm just applying a little amount of liquid liner just to fill in where my false lashes were applied and my lashes. Now I'm going to clean up my face because there's still some glitter that fell. So I'm just using good old toilet paper and eye makeup remover. I think this is where a makeup remover wipe would come in handy and probably look better. I'm going to finish my eyes, like the, my lower lash line after I apply foundation. And I'll do mascara after all that. I just like doing that once I have foundation on. So now I'm going to prime my skin. I'm using this Tom Ford bronzing primer. I have spray tan, so I just want to have all that good bronzy goodness. I really do like this primer. It will really make your skin really bronzed. So when your body matches, it's good. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in with the Heavenly Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the color six, which is darker. So first I'm gonna apply it with this IT Cosmetics brush. This is their Heavenly CC Plus, CC Plus Skin Perfecting Brush number 702. For my under eye area, I'm using this also Giorgio Armani number no. one master corrector. This is peach tone, so it will really brighten under your eye area. I'm just gonna pat it in with my finger. Now for concealer, I'm going to try out this Clé de Pa concealer. This is expensive, but I've heard so many good reviews about this. This is in the color ivory, so let's see if this is worth the hype. <laughs> well, I'm gonna warm it up on my finger first. And then pat it in. It feels pretty thick, which I like. It feels like it won't budge. Now I'm gonna go over everything with this, my foundation brush, cause it has some foundation left over and it'll just help, help my concealer blend in more naturally. I'm gonna go in with the cream bronzer before I go in with powders. So I'm gonna use my favorite Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I'm just gonna use the same brush, dip, really dip it in there and just kind of apply this under my cheekbones, onto my cheeks and then just swirl it around the perimeter of my face. This will just warm up my skin a little. Okay, now time to powder. I'm going to set everything with this Urban Decay D Slick powder. Mine broke, but it's good. I'm going to use this Morphe E3 brush to do so. And first pat it onto my skin, just so it won't remove my foundation. All that hard work I just did. Then. I'm gonna go in with this fun palette that I got also from the Sephora VIB sale. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So it came with a finishing powder, a bronzer, a highlighter, and then two blushes, which I'll use all this for my look. So first I'm going to apply Surreal Light, this, all over my skin. I guess that's a finishing powder. This is their highlight color. Their strobe powder, Surreal Strobe Light. So I'm going to apply that on top of my cheekbones just for a natural highlight. So this is their bronzer. I'm going to use that. I'm using a Morphe M523 brush. I'm going to try this blush. Just this lighter, more neutral one. It's their Surreal Glow Blush. 
And then I'm just gonna lightly tap my brush in this really bright one. What is that? Surreal Glow Wash. Just for a And then I'm gonna go over everything with this stippling brush, straight and wavy by Makeup Forever. Their 122, 122 brush. That'll just help na everything naturally blend in. Now I'm gonna spray my face to set it before I move on. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna fill in my brows. This is Soft Brown Brow Definer by Anastasia. I'm gonna finish up under my eye. I'm gonna take the same brush that I started with, the Morphe E22, and just start applying that under my eye. I haven't dipped this in any more product. I figure there's a lot left over, and there is. Cause I don't want it too intense, so just I'm using whatever is on the brush, and then I'm applying that under my eye just for a more smoky effect and a more like sexy, smudgy look under the bottom. I'm going to apply a little brown eyeliner also to my bottom. I'm going to smudge that out. This is a BH Cosmetics 105 brush. And then I'm extending this out and the top just to kind of like create a point, a big horizontal V. And now some mascara. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. This is a little sample size, but I really like this mascara. So I'm applying some to the top just so that my lashes will blend in with my false lashes and then the bottom. Okay, and for lips, I'm gonna use this K-I-S-S I-N-G Fallen From The Lipstick Tree Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. This is the color Kim Kardashian West. Kim K-W, which I imagine is Kardashian West. So this is just very, very nude. As you can expect a Kim Kardashian West color would be. Then I'm gonna apply this Bite Beauty Lip Gloss in the color Honey on top, just for an extra little sheen. For this, obviously I changed. And I went ahead and put on my dress. This is an off the shoulder green dress that I'm wearing tonight. So this is the final makeup look. I just curled my hair. If you're interested in seeing that tutorial, click the link below, I linked it for you to easily get you to it. Anyways, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.